The Journey to Peace in Mindanao. Now at an important stretch. President Duterte has signed the Bangsamoro Organic Law that would create the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao and grant wider self-rule to the Muslim minority in the Southern Philippines. The Bangsamoro Organic Law is one of the requirements under a peace agreement signed between the government and the Moro Islamic Liberation Front, or MILF, the country's largest Muslim rebel group. The law is an important milestone, embodying the aspirations for self-determination and meant to correct historical injustices and grievances of the Moros. When the Philippines came under Spanish and American rule, Islam in the country was sent to the fringes. Bloody pacification campaigns launched against its believers. In the 1930s, American authorities encouraged Christians to migrate to Mindanao. Muslims became a minority, victims of land grabbing. Mindanao's people and resources exploited. This left many Mindanaoans poor, feeling neglected and resenting Imperial Manila. The Jabida massacre led to the formation in the 70s of the Moro National Liberation Front, which called for separation and independence. The armed conflict made the region poorer, its residents yearning and needing basic services. A recent survey showed many provinces in the ARMM are among the poorest in the country. The peace process was meant to correct all of this, but it has had a lot of stops and starts. The MNLF and the Marcos government signed the 1976 Tripoli Agreement in a bid to end the fighting in exchange for the government working to grant greater autonomy in Muslim populated areas. When the Marcos government was toppled, Corazon Aquino held peace talks with the MNLF. In 1989, the autonomous region for Muslim Mindanao was created with its first elections held the next year. In 1996, the Ramos government and the MNLF signed a final peace agreement. The next year, the government held talks with the Moro Islamic Liberation Front, a breakaway faction of the MNLF. But during the Estrada administration, the government launched an all-out war against the MILF. Under the Arroyo administration, the Supreme Court struck down in 2008 the MOA AD, a peace deal that would have given MILF control over a wide area in the south. This triggers more fighting. In 2011, President Benigno Aquino III met with leaders of the MILF in Japan, a meeting that would jumpstart the peace talks. The next year, the two sides signed a broad roadmap to peace. This included details on power sharing, wealth divisions, and disarmament. In 2014, the two sides signed a comprehensive agreement on the Bangsamoro that served as a basis for the draft Bangsamoro Basic Law. Later that year, two drafts were submitted to Aquino. The final draft of the BBL is given to Congress, but lawmakers failed to pass the law until the end of Aquino's term. Finally, in July 2018, President Duterte signed the Bangsamoro Organic Law. With a stroke of a pen, the document became a bearer of the hope and dreams of the region and its people.